The following segment is sponsored by Providence Health and Services. This segment of AM Northwest is brought to you by Family Matters. Health and education, safety, and the quality of life. K2 and our partners are proud to bring you Family Matters, offering solutions to the hard questions. Because K2 and Providence Health and Services know that family matters. Today is known as National Quitters Day, the day most people give up on their New Year's resolutions. Here to help us recommit and stick to realistic resolutions, we welcome from Providence Behavioral Health, psychologist Robin Henderson. Good morning, doctor. How you doing? I am doing fantastic this morning. It is not a quitting day for me. I <laughs> did. Okay, so what are the most common mistakes that we make when we're setting resolutions to begin with? Well, really, Helen, the most <laughs> common mistakes we make is we make them too big. We, we try to boil the ocean with our resolution. We go, I'm going to lose all the weight. I'm going to get all the sleep. I'm going to do all the things. And the reality is it's all about small bites. So give me an example of small bites. I want to lose 20 pounds, and a small bite would be? I'm going to do vegetarian Mondays, you know, meatless Mondays. I'm going to do commit to adding more vegetables to my diet. I'm going to commit to things that aren't necessarily tied to a number because it's really about, at the end of the day, getting healthy. Right. So I'm gonna make healthier choices and take the little ones first. Then you get the benefits of, you know, the pounds. Yeah, so you say, as, as you just said, start in small bites. So we wanna be healthier in general. How would you suggest we start? Let's start with the little things. You know, what are the dietary changes you wanna make? Maybe it's I'm gonna to commit to taking a 20 minute walk three times a week, or I'm gonna to commit to some type of a lifestyle change that isn't necessarily the big, huge, I'm gonna pass or fail goal, right. but the little things that get us there. And then the other thing that we need to do is to get ourselves somebody to be accountable to, right? Right, sure. Who am I gonna engage with me? Who's my walking buddy? Right, and then you also, because you specialize in mental health, let's talk about making a resolution to improve our mental health. One of the best resolutions I've heard all year is the person who, a woman who resolved to pet 100 cats this year. <laughs> 100 different cats, right? Not the same cat 100 times, 100 yeah. different cats. It's about kindness, it's about gratitude, it's about what are we gonna do to change our own self so that we can make other people feel better? Because here's the great thing. When I'm kind and grateful and all the things to other people, that has benefit for me too. So how are we gonna be a kinder, gentler person in this new year? Um, we all learned in quarantine that relationships are so very important, right? So and they're so very important for our mental health, our physical health. So how, how can we resolve to be a better friend, be in better relationships? What are your suggestions there? Work with intentionality. What are the things you're gonna do to say, hey, let's go get that cup of coffee. Let's get together in person. Let's go get that, you know, be my walking buddy, whatever yeah. it is you want to do. But lead with intentionality and be the first person to reach out. Who are the people in your life that you miss that you haven't seen in person? And invite them to do something with you. Would you suggest that reward, rewarding what you do, let's say you get to the gym all, you know, all week, however, you, three days a week, whatever you decide with your, with your buddy. Do you think that rewarding yourself would be a good idea? I think rewarding yourself is always a great idea. And rewards don't have to be cheats. Rewards can be things like, I'm gonna reward myself with a spa day, maybe right. a mini spa day. I'm gonna reward myself with, maybe I'm gonna, you know, buy one of those face masks, or I'm gonna do something fun or watch a great movie or whatever. But rewards are important. Did you make any resolutions this year? Absolutely. I have resolved to be a kinder, gentler person this year. I wanna make sure that I'm telling people that I'm grateful that they're in my life. I want to make sure that I'm leading with gratitude, kindness, and a smile. There you go, and you do it all the time. You did it previous years, so I think you've got it all, you've got it marked down, you've got it going on. Thank you so much, Doctor. Well, thank you for having me, and I promise we're going to see each other in person this year. Absolutely, I love that. That's the resolution we need to make. Thank you so much. Uh, if you'd you. like to find out more, all you have to do is contact Providence Health and Services. We'll put the information on our website at kc.com slash family matters, and we'll be right back.